people. And if we came back to you and said, oh, I don't have the resources to save all the records to comply with the IRS tax law, you, we wouldn't, I wouldn't, y'all wouldn't let me skate. So I don't think you guys ought to be able to uh, uh, skate on the resource issues. And I'll get back to that uh, in a second. You, in the Clinton administration, you worked in the OMB, didn't you? And part of your job was to uh, uh, oversee the executive branch record keeping and the, these uh, Federal Records Act type requirements, did, did you not do that? Uh, that was actually uh, uh, done by the Inform Office of Information uh, and Regulatory Affairs. But you, you were, in, were you involved in that when you were with the Clinton administration? Uh, I was not involved personally, but it was under, I was the Deputy Director for Management. Okay, so are you familiar with the Federal Records Act? I am familiar with the Federal Records Act. It says the head of each federal agency shall make and preserve records containing adequate proper documentation of the organization, functions, policies, decisions, procedures, and essential transactions of the agencies, and uh, it goes on along those lines. Your IRS manual says the way y'all do that is to print out the uh, emails, the official uh, right? Official records. Any, any Anything official that's record. official records. Right. Who decides what's an official record? Uh, the employees are provided background information, and then they make a judgment as to whether it's an official record or not. All right, and so if you're doing something that you might believe is questionable, you might lean towards not deciding that... It's possible, but we've trained over 2,000 information resource coordinators across the agency to continue to oversee and encourage and make sure right, that so we comply. In, in, in response to some earlier questions, you uh, indicated that in going through Lois Lerner's emails that you use search terms. Is that correct? Uh, that there were search terms were used for all of the searches. All right, so how do you use search terms on the hard copy emails that she would have been required to print out from that lost hard drive? Has somebody gone through all of her files or the files of people she routinely corresponded with to search those hard copy records? Yes. All right. Don't you think it would have been easier and save some money if you'd have had that in electronic form? No doubt. All right, let me, you, you, we heard from the other side that there's an issue with respect to the resources there now. All right, I did this on my cell phone, and let me find my notes here, because you, you guys got a lot of people good at math uh, at the IRS, so I'm gonna assume you guys could figure this out, all right? So let's say your, your procedure is to print the records out. All right, so I went on to, uh, uh, did a Google search, say, all right, what's the uh, average size of a, of a Word document? And they said, well, you can get 64,782 um, Word documents of about nine pages per gigabyte. A terabyte's a thousand uh, gigabytes, so that's uh, 64.8 million documents. All right? Uh, now, I went on Amazon and saw you could buy a terabyte hard drive for 59, or about $59. Buy two of them, so, you know, 120 bucks. The, Statistics in the industry, average cost to print uh, a page of uh, documents, uh, it's about uh, five to eight cents when you include paper and toner and wear and tear on the printer. So if you do that math and multiply it out, it looks to me like uh, for every terabyte of storage you added to the email, you'd save $21 million in printing fees, not to mention the greenness of it. How come some of the mathematicians at the IRS didn't realize, hey, we go out and, all right, let's, let's say you gotta buy a computer and hook it up. All right, so let's spend five grand on a, on a backup system for our email and save $21 million. Got 90,000 employees get one of those for each employee. Well, Terry, each employee is not gonna have uh, millions of pages of emails and documents. You could do it on a system-wide basis. Uh, not in our system, you can't. It's not, it's not stored on the exchange server? Can't you get a Barracuda email backup that you see advertised on TV that captures all the email? That's right. Well, that's one of the things that we, when we uh, looked at it, I'm told the estimate was 10 to $30 million to create a server that would hold all of that. All right, $10 million, $21 million to print. You've already saved $10 million. If we're printing $21 million worth of stuff, probably. Well, if you're, and you'd be, no question you're complying with the Federal Records Act because you're saving everything. You're not, wouldn't be relying on the judgment. So this lack of resources thing doesn't fly. I'm sorry, I ran out of time. I had some other questions, but I will yield back.